In September, key stage one began their autumn expedition around the guided question. What will I do to be a superhero in my community? Firstly, we dressed up as superheroes. because he is a lifesaver. The army people are my hero because they saved our country. My superhero is a doctor because they help people live. My superhero is a lifeguard because they help people if, if they need help at sea and they danger themselves to save other people. My hero is Jackie Whitehead because she saved up loads of money for the army and charity. Uh, my superhero is uh, the doctors and the nurses because they help people if they're hurt or if, or if they're sick. My superhero is my dad because um, when my scooter wasn't ready he did stay and fixed it. My superhero is Spider-Man and he saves people from bad people. Lady Bug is my superhero because she is kind and smart and she saves the world with cat the world. My favourite superhero is Batman because he helps people. I like to be a teacher right away, but not a girl. <laughs> I want to finish here because it's a cool cat. Through our learning of history, we learnt about people who changed the world. We started to look at important figures and the effect they had and on their own communities as well as the world. We learnt about Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Elamine Pankhurst and David Attenborough. We read books 
about them and researched their lives. Martin Luther King, he was born in the United States of America. His life was sometimes hard. People treated him differently just because of the colour of his skin. He had a special speech called I Have a Dream Speech. Rosa Parks. Rosa's mum worked as a teacher. She grew up with her grandparents and her mum. The bus ride. She refused to give up her seat on the bus. The white person put the board behind her. Her dad was a carpenter. Her dad was never home. He was busy. Her grandparents. Her grandparents was very old. They lived on a farm. We all thought that we too could change history and make our community a better place. We also held an election in each class. The children gave a speech as to why they should be voted the class mayor. Everyone had lots of ideas for how we can impact the world. I have a dream no one will litter at all in the world. It hurts our animals' habitats. Wouldn't it make the world feel better if everyone put litter in the bin? Thank you for listening. I hope my dream comes true. You're welcome if this speech helps you in your life. I have a dream that one day everybody in the world will use the bins properly and pick up the litter that is on the floor to make the world a better place. I see angry white faces. I feel angry and annoyed. I think I'll be devastated forever. <clears throat> I have a dream that one day everybody will use the bins properly. I have a dream that one day no one will litter. I would like everyone to put litter in the bin. We should all try to put litter in the bin because it is hurting animals. Do you actually put your litter in the bin? Wouldn't it be great if we all try, if we all put our rubbish in the bin? Thank you. I have a dream, we all have dreams, but what I want is people using the bins properly. Do you want the world to be a better place by throwing litter in the bins? If you don't throw litter in the bins, it will affect animals. What do you actually do to help and why? Why don't we all try to throw litter, to thr recycle and throw litter in the bins? Thank you for listening, together we can make a change. I have a dream that one day the people can put their rubbish in the bin because it's not as hard as it seems to help the environment. Can you please put your rubbish in the bin because it's not just affecting the environment, it's also affecting the world. Do you put your rubbish in the bin? Wouldn't it be great if we all c could help the environment? Why don't we just try to put your rubbish in the bin? We won't it be a better world to live in if we must just all recycle. I have a dream that one day everybody in the world will put rubbish in the bin, not the side of the bins.
We held marches and demonstrations to show our support for recycling. I thought that was amazing. We just walked around the corner. We didn't know that was going to happen. It was absolutely brilliant. I'm really impressed by the passion that they've shown there. Yeah, it's really inspirational. We will definitely be recycling more. Through art, we developed our skills and knowledge of artists throughout time, from Quentin Blake to Banksy. In different ways, they both impacted on the lives of many people. Through computing, we developed our skills of using iPads. We used the iPads to create recycling posters using tools such as save, colour, line and inserting pictures. In English, we created poems about key people from history. Climate change. If animals stop eating plastic, it will be fantastic. He is 95 and he is still alive. If we stop dropping litter, the world will be fitter. David is on a quest to make the world look its best. To stop litter on the planet, he's going to ban it. There are no more Earth, so we need to care and make sure we share. If we litter, the world will not be fitter. He goes on the quest, and it's the best. Climate change is strange. He's 95, and he's alive. He's brave because it's the world he wants to save. David went on a quest, and it was his best. If we litter, our world will not glitter. Climate change is very strange. David wants to save our planet. He talked about litter, so we need to ban it. Sir David wants to save the planet. Bad things like litter, he wants to ban it. I can't believe he's 95 and he is still alive. He chose to make this amazing quest to make the planet the very best. Greta Thunberg was a sad and silent child, but then she went around, she learned about climate change at school and realised that adults were super duper cool. She wanted to stop global warming, this she is warning. Greta Thunberg was only a child when she made a demand. She wrote on her board her command. She went on a strike and started a fight. She's making a stand. Change is her command. Emmeline Pankhurst didn't have a vote. She marched through the streets in her coat. She made a bit of a fight to get a vote right. Emmeline Pankhurst went to jail, but she did not fail. Rosa Parks sailed from Sparks. She went on a bus and there was a big fuss. She went into town and made white people frown. Martin Luther King, I changed you the thing. He had a really good, good speech called I Had a Dream. He got everyone to be a big, big team. He was a good man and nice man. Martin Luther King, he got shot and it absolutely really did sting. He was a good man and was black. He didn't want to ever attack. We then held a poetry jam in school and went on a march to demonstrate with our community. Women! Women! There once was a woman! There once was a woman! There was absolutely few men! She was called Emmeline Pankhurst. She was called Emmeline Pankhurst. She fought 
taught men were the worst. She taught men were the worst. She wanted women to have rights. She wanted women to have rights. So she signed up. So she signed up. For all the fights. For all the fights. At the end of our expedition, we feel like our small changes have made a big difference. Just like the heroes who inspired us, 